Hi, it's Crazy. So in today's video, I just want to help you on how you can become a fuck boy. So if you've come across fuck boys and you've admired it and it's been on your heart and now you're desiring, your biggest desire in life is to become a fuck boy. It's just, it's actually quite easy. Um, I have to say I'm quite of a fuck boy. I like getting, I like begging girls for nudes. So apparently that's a fuck boy. Yeah, so I like begging for nudes. Like I can't talk to a girl like five sentences without asking for nudes because it's just a dead combo. You have to know what, you have to know where you're going. I mean, if you're talking about global warming and the weather, what the fuck? I hate it, man. You obviously, so if you're that type of guy and you hate talking about stupid things with girls and you're sick of it, you know what I mean? Like you just want to become a fuck boy. Seriously, that's your plan. Here is how you become a fuck boy. Step number one on how to become a fuck boy. You never ever get in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you want to become a fuckboy, you have to get out of it. A guy that tells you he's a fuckboy and is in a relationship is lying to you. He's got feelings for that person, whoever the person is with. So first thing you want to do is get out of relationships. If you want to be a happy fuckboy, because if you get in a relationship and you still want to do your fuckboy stuff, you're just going to be miserable and you're just going to be using the other person that you know, that you're with. It's not fair. So first thing you want to do is get out of a relationship, all right? See relationships as something disgusting, okay? It's not illegal not to be in a relationship. So it's fine, don't worry about it. I mean, obviously if you're Christian, you might go to hell, whatever, but none of us has been to hell and come back, okay? So we don't even know if that's real or it exists, all right? So you're gonna have to get out of a relationship, okay? Don't even think of a relationship. When you fall in love with someone, tell your emotions that, hey, emotions relax back, okay? I'm trying to shag and leave. That's all you think about, shag, leave, gone, okay? You shag leave gone disappeared to different planets, okay? If you see that person you shagged and you want to shag them again, you don't do that. You don't do that. That's how relationships start. So that's the other trick. So if you shag someone and you want to be a fuckboy, do not talk to them again. That's the point. A fuckboy has to explore different people. Because research shows that you can shag an amount of uh, about 30 girls in your entire life. You as a fuckboy, you, ha you want to shag about 50. No, no, not 50, what the fuck? 300 girls in your life. Now, it's not illegal to shag 300 girls. It's only bad if obviously you do it and you're in a relationship. So that's why I say first step is you have to get out of a relationship. And the other thing is that you have to have a list of all the people you shagged, not writing their names. Because if one of those people finds out, they're gonna think you're a creep, okay? You want to have a list, it will motivate you into being a top, top, top fuck boy, bro. You want to know how many people you shagged this month. You have to do a tally. One, two, three, four, five yes that will motivate you into you know going out there exploring just make sure you don't shag the same person again oh my god okay unless you're fully aware that this person i'll never fall in love with them because maybe they're ugly or they have like really tiny tits i'm just saying okay so that's the other step of being a fuck boy you have to do just see girls as a slug would see guys. You know, slugs don't see guys as things to get in a relationship with. Slugs don't do that. They see you as a guy to shag you and go. That's how you have to see girls. There's no law against that. I mean, you can't get arrested that you're being a fuck boy. You're being too much a fuck boy, okay? If you want, you can shag someone, shag their sister, shag so Do some ruthless stuff like that. Then that's how you become a fuck boy, right? Stop getting emotionally attached to people. Don't text a lot. That's the other thing, bro. You can't be out here texting people 24 seven and you think you're a fuck boy. If you're texting the same girl for an hour, fam, what are you doing? You're on the phone for an hour and you're saying you're a fuck boy. You're like, oh yeah, I'm trying to smash. No, you're not trying to smash. You're trying to get in a relationship and be miserable for the rest of your fucking life, okay? So that's not what you want, all right? Talk to someone five minutes you're off to another person found you're trying to shag 300 different women in your life okay you're not trying to shag 30 people like an, an average person okay 300 different people you have to put the work so don't be out here texting people for an hour on the phone for two minutes for two hours thinking you you're, you're a fuck boy nah you're just trying to get in a relationship okay every time you think you're gonna get in a relationship with someone the other step if you think you're gonna get in a relationship with someone end it wrap it Maybe you shouldn't end it, because if you end it, then it's hard for her to get back with you because you break her heart. So what you do, you try to get her to leave you. Because when she leaves you, she'll see you. Obviously, I'm saying this and it sounds evil, but really, it's not evil. It's not illegal, okay? It's just a way of life. Trust me, some slags do this as well. So don't think you're evil in any way. So you have to make sure that she leaves you. So maybe 
Shag her best friend. You're a fuckboy, bro. You don't care. Okay, Shag her best friend. Make sure she catches you with her best friend steady in your mouth, bro. This is what I'm saying. Then once she catches you, she'll leave you. And then maybe one day when she's bored, she'll remember you and she'll feel guilty because she left you and then she'll come back, smash her. Then tell her the truth, you know, I don't want a relationship. I am a fuckboy. Be proud of it. I hate when people tell you you're a fuckboy, like it's something bad. That's I see it as a compliment. When I tell a girl you're a slug, I actually don't mean it in a rude way. It's a compliment. Not everyone can just be a slug. You can't just go out there and be the slug that opens legs for everyone. It's kind of a compliment. It's like a porn star. You can't really go to a porn star and make fun of them. If I saw a porn star in real life, I'm getting that autograph, bro, on my dick, okay? But yeah, so don't catch feelings. Don't get in relationships. Don't talk to people for so long. Do not FaceTime. You don't do stuff like that. You don't do FaceTime. You don't do sex, sexing, whatever it is, yeah? Fam, you, that's not real shags. You can't put down, you can't go on your list and put down a, as a shag. You want to be in and out in physical stuff, bro. You don't want to be that nigga that Skypes girls and you're showing your one kid off and she's got all her best friends in the background laughing, okay? You do not want to because I've been that guy before, all right? You want to be the guy that is actually in and out in real life, bro. Live in the real world, not in some social fantasy. Do not send nudes. Do not send nudes. It's the worst thing boys do. You're a fuck boy. It doesn't mean you have to send nudes, okay? If you're out there being too desperate, if you want a girl to send you nudes and you think she'll send them, ask her. Because don't ask her in a way where she'll know that you're asking for nudes and then expose you on a social network because girls just love doing that, okay? If you get a vibe of some girl that, oh, I can't ask her for nudes, then don't. If you feel like you can, then ask her for nudes, all right? She sends them, you go on Google, you search, black guys with big black cocks obviously make sure you, you delete the history because people will think you're some gay whatever you read to <laughs> so yeah search that get that black dick and send it to her off the internet bro obviously she'll think it's from you and she might expose you but you deep down you know that it's not yours you got it off internet you can even show her later and make fun of her because she made it full of herself Never be that sad guy that sits at home and starts taking dick pics of different angles. That's not fat poison. That's uh, that's some weird emo stuff. I don't even know. I don't even, emo does emo don't do that, bro. You probably I don't even know, man. Do not sit at home and take pictures of your dick, man. It's just disgusting, all right? You want she sends you nudes? Go on Google, bro. If she asks you to send tag the nudes with your name, tell her to go and fuck her dead nan, all right? You cannot ask people for that. I actually had my friend, some girl asked her to send her pictures tagged with his name. What the fuck? Are we playing some stupid game here? Okay, never send a tag picture with you holding a pic and your name. What the fuck? That is that is that that is not fuck boy. Fuck boys have to respect themselves, alright? You don't want to send real nudes to a girl, you don't want to send tagged pictures with your name next to your nude. But what the fuck, alright? You don't do FaceTiming, bro. You don't Skype. Skype can go Skype is for those people that I don't know, those people that are bored of life and want to set, settle down. So if that's not your plan, obviously you want to be a fuck boy, you don't go there, bro. You're just gonna get stuck. Girls, you be talking to a girl who's not even interested in you and she'll be asking you to Skype her so you can keep her busy. Then after, she'll leave you there with a boner and you've really not even shagged and you can't even pull it down, you can't put down your list. And you're still like, you've only shagged like two girls and you're supposed to shag 300 in your entire life, all right? But basically, to be a fuck, you have to shag at least 300 girls by the time you're 30 or 25 or something like that. So yeah, just get on that if that's what you want in your life. I mean, I, I, I want to get married and be happy, but if you want to be a fuck boy, and also just be careful, man. You always have to, you know, use protection, man. If you want to be a fuck boy, you have to use protection. If you don't use protection, you're trying to get a kid and then you can't be a fuck boy if you have a kid because it's just... You know, it's just wrong, man, you know. If you want to, you can, but if you have a kid, then just focus on the kid. You can't tell the kid in a few years that, I am. you know, I couldn't look after you because um, I was a fuck boy and I was planning on shagging 300 girls before I die. You can't tell that to a kid when they've grown up. So if you have a kid, it's better to stay with the kid. But yeah, that's why you have to wear condoms, bro. Don't get a girl pregnant. Go on a pill. Obviously, pills are for girls, but I heard someone told me that if you put, a, if you take a pill as a guy, you, you might not get a girl pregnant. Do not do that. I'm not sure about it. Some guy told me. Those are some of the steps to you can be a fuckboy. So yeah, um, just don't text a lot. Don't bother too much. Do not be desperate. Do not take girls to restaurants. Do not book hotel rooms. <laughs> you do not book hotel rooms, bro. 
that is your money bro you go to the person's house all right go to their house you don't care if their parents are in smash them then leave okay do not be booking hotels do not be taking girls to restaurants bro what the fuck and then you'll think you're a fuck boy fuck boys do not do that all right i had some one of my mates told me that oh i like this girl um just for sex bro but you know before you know it, they're going on holidays he's paying he's, he's the one paying and he's saying he's a fuck boy he's just using her for sex but really the guy is whipped all right then the girl left her obviously because she was a slug she knew her plan man she just wanted to have a free holiday restaurants holiday whatever so if you want to be a fuck boy man you can't be out here booking girls hotels hotel rooms restaurants holidays fuck that you're just smashing and leaving bro you know go to their place if you have a place let them come to yours all right do not be paid don't even pay for uber man Uber. if you start paying for uber you just basically pay for sex i'm being honest if you want to be a fuck boy then be a real fuck boy man if you unless you're trying to be something else but yeah that's how you become a fuck boy anyway um, good luck on your fuck boy life uh, and i'll see you next time peace